Welcome back to Craftardia, it is time to mod the plasma weapons of Fallout 4. There are 5 main types of plasma weapons and we'll mod all of them. As always we're starting off with the plasma pistol. All plasma weapons have the same 4 types of moddable parts. The majority are the same as with the lasers but the most interesting thing about the plasma weapons is that all 5 types can be crafted from one single weapon because the barrel and grip or stock change the type of the weapon for all 5 of them. All capacitors are the same as with the lasers and for the pistol I went with the overcharged capacitor. It is nice when a tiny pistol has good damage. The barrel can be changed to a splitter that changes the type of the weapon to a scatter gun, or it can be a flamer barrel that changes it to a plasma thrower. The sniper barrel will not change the type of the weapon just yet, you would need to change the grip to a stock as well to make it a rifle. To make it a sniper rifle, then you would need to add a scope to it as well. It is great that you can craft all 5 weapons from only one weapon, then you can simply carry the extra parts with you, and then if you need to burn some bitches you switch to the flamer barrel, or if you wanna shoot someone in the face from a distance you can change it to a sniper barrel with a scope. I gave my pistol the improved automatic barrel because I wanted to shoot the overcharged plasma very quickly and spread it all over the enemy as fast as possible. Since I wanted to keep the pistol I gave it a comfort grip, so it is easier to hold it and aim. As for the sights they are all familiar from before and I pick the night vision scope, because I want this pistol specialized for nightly encounters. I named this weapon turn off the lights, because it performs the best during the night, in the darkness. Next we have the plasma rifle, I gave it the photon agitator because I feel like this weapon will agitate the enemy very effectively. Unfortunately this rifle needed to have the short barrel because not everyone has the privilege of having long barrels, such is life. Since it has a short barrel it needs to have the marksman's stock because aiming will be very important to this weapon. Without length, utility is the only thing that can help it. As for the scopes, only the best is acceptable again due to the lack of barrel length, so I gave it the long recon scope. This rifle does lack power and speed, but with the help of agitation, marksman's stock and recon scope, it has magnificent technique. The scattergun is next, when it comes to the capacitor I gave it the maximized capacitor because this weapon is in fact privileged and it wants to have as many maximized parts as possible. It also has the improved splitter so the plasma spreads over the enemies better, but it does affect the precision of the shots. To improve the precision it has the best stock, the recoil compensating one. To further improve the precision of the plasma spreading, it also has the long recon scope. It is true that this weapon has no idea what to do with itself, but it is good enough to perform well. Money does wonders, man. Now we have the plasma sniper rifle, as you can see this weapon is naturally very long. I gave it the overcharged capacitor because the role of this rifle will be to deeply penetrate enemies. I also changed the barrel to be the improved sniper barrel since this will help it do its job more effectively. Since this is a sniper rifle after all, the best stock for it is the marksman's, so I took it. Perhaps a recon scope would have been better than a long scope, but I went with this one because it fits the length of the weapon better. Due to the shape and purpose of this weapon, it is called Colonoscoper. The final weapon we will be looking at is the plasma thrower, a plasma version of the flamethrower. I went with the photon exciter because sometimes I personally get excited when it burns and I really like the idea of green flames. I can't change the barrel because this would change the type of the weapon so the flamer barrel needs to stay. I was debating whether to give it a stock or keep the grip. It wouldn't change the type of the weapon, but with a stock it feels too large, so I went with the comfort grip. Since this weapon has very short range and it burns relatively quickly, a crazy scope isn't necessary, so I took the reflex one. 
it's good enough. As a small weapon that shoots green flames, it creates a very curious burning sensation that I don't know how to feel about. I hope you enjoyed the plasma weapons of Fallout 4. There are a few more left that are a bit more difficult to get, which we will cover in another video. I will possibly dedicate an entire video to each unique weapon that Fallout 4 has. Let me know do you like that idea. I have been Petard, your glorious lord, and I shall see you next time.